Um, my phone's not going to be great today because of the fact that uh, I'm going to have to lift it up and off a few times. So today, using BritBit or any real brand of uh, blackcurrant cordial. So not, it's not a juice wine, it's a cordial wine. But with cordial wines, you have to boil the hell out of the wines. So I've got five litres of this. So what we'll do first, we'll get it on the boil. Um, I will show you. You can use black currant and apple. You can use lots of different cordials. What you've got to do, like I said, you've got to boil the cordial. So, oh, that's got some smell to it. Oh. Put that on straight away. That's one. The bottles I can reuse because. Um, um, so. In that respect, it's brilliant. It's a win-win situation. You buy them in bottles like this. You reuse the bottles for your beer or your wine. Mean, so a bit of, bit of prep work to begin with. Then I can talk about what other um, because doing this, this is this is the worst part of this because you've got to boil it and it takes time. So. Three in, another pan. You need big pans for this. And I would say, if you're gonna if you're gonna do a cordial wine, make sure you've got a big fermentation bucket like this fella. Yeah, don't do it off a small. Don't do it off one with a smaller top, because when you're pouring that into there, um, yeah, it can get tricky. Right, so I'll just pour some into here. So I've got five litres of cordial. I wouldn't go for the no added sugar cordials either because you want that sugar element. You want to kill the preservatives, but you want the sugar element. I've also gone for an, a high um, alcohol yeast. Not your standard stuff for milkers this time. I've actually gone for something. I went to Love Brewing and got a proper good yeast. Um, I would say that um, that made a noise, didn't it? Yeah, I, I would say that. Um, I can't think now. eBay is probably a good place to get high alcohol yeast if you don't want to. There is Bally Herb Homebrew actually. They ship, but whereas others ship for 15, you have to break the free postage and packaging. They ship according to weight. So if you buy yeast, they'll only charge you a couple of quid for shipping. So that's something to think about. So I've got four bags of sugar. Um, obviously, you go over how many bags of sugar you think you need. Uh, I'm doing a 20 litre brew, four bags of sugar, five litres. You can play around with these as much as you like. The key thing is that you make sure that you boil that chuffing juice wine, that, that cordial. I've already boiled the kettle once, so I'm going to quickly dissolve this. Well, to be fair, I think I'm better off waiting because that's, that's five litres. Five litres of um, boiling water. Yes, I'm going to have to leave the kettle thinking about it and wait. So yeah, that's three in so far. Fourth one in. And for those watching today in the UK, happy Father's Day. I have got multiple bottles today, 
so I'll put you over here. So try not to turn the phone off as I'm doing it. So it's dead awkward because what I've not got. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit better. So obviously the cordials are on the brew. There you go. Just there. Um, yeah, so on the brew, on the boil, on the boil. Sugar's in there. I'll show you the yeast. So it's a, from Love Brewing, this is. It's a high alcohol yeast. It did say it was supposed to be up for 18%, but here it says maximum alcohol 14%. So. You can, I think, use turbo yeast. There's a good fellow who comes on the chat when we do the lives. And he seems to use turbo yeast. And he did a homebrew wine, a rhubarb wine, 14, no, 18%, which is like rocket fuel. Um, so just waiting there. It's a waiting game. This is the only issue. But I want to show you it boiling and bubbling away. Get a couple of minutes of bubbling away. Chuck it in there. And uh, the, the second part of the process is ever so flipping quick. Because you chuck it in there, you fill it with cold water, you get to 20. I've got the hydrometer. Please, when you when you want to buy hydrometers, don't go out buying expensive hydrometers. The point with homebrew for most of us is it's cheap and cheerful. So don't go buying expensive stuff. You know, well, keep the stuff that's a little bit um, cheaper. Right, it's so boring waiting now. So yeah. Um, on the homebrew side of things, um, we'll give a little homebrew update while we're talking. Today also I'm going to try, I've got to put the findings in the wash today. Um, I'll wash a load of glasses out as well. There's no problem doing beer with you, you haven't ended it with loads of dirty glasses. Maybe in a tramp, I don't wash them out for a few days. Um, I've got an orange juice cordial to do as well. And these, these cordials or juice wines, I want to show you how to do it from cordial, just as much as I want to show you how to do it from, from juice wine. Cordials, getting rid of the sugars is going to be interesting. It is. That's why you boil to get rid, kill the preservatives. <laughs> I have brewed from cordial before as part of a cordial and juice wine. Um, I think it was strawberry. I did strawberry cordial and blackcurrant before. So, um, again, waiting for that to boil. Bloody annoying. Um, the St. Peter's kit uh, with the extra two kilos of sugar is, is brewing nicely. I do want to try it and defeat all my homebrew over the next couple of days. Today's obviously Father's Day, so I've got not one, not two, not three, but four and possibly five beer holes um, one for my daughter a special one for my daughter she's um, opened up a little bit of a, a business as it were uh, similar to what Liam Ruscoe's wife's doing but not on the bigger not on that sort of scale uh, more small stuff and uh, she's got me some nice Father's Day presents so fair play to her you know it's, it's the fault Never the money, it's always the thought that goes into anything in life. Um, the fact that you care and the fact that you um, want to do an act of kindness is always so much better than some of these people who've got 10,000 quid to spend and just waft it down. So yeah, starting to boil. Um, it's a, it is a slow process, you know, we're looking at about a 20 minute window in total for this video. Um, I will be writing the, I can find a pen, I will be writing the gravity down on the um, fermentation bucket. There's an old gravity there, so um, let me flip that down. Yeah, you can see the old gravity there. That was for the last kit. So I'll write a new gravity. What I will do before anybody else does it because people keep yeah people moan about the um let me flip the phone around for a second there we go right let me get that down that's it and we're 
back, albeit pointing the wrong way. <laughs> we'll do a video one day showing people how to do their own beer reviews or home brew videos. You never know, you could be a much better a natural doing this. Send that, send that thing of talking to a camera and uh, looking presentable on the screen. And the critical thing of all of it is personality. Personality doesn't matter. You know. But we've all got different personalities and my personality won't appease, won't appease to a lot of people. You know, a lot of people don't want to hear that you've got mental health issues and all that. I have. I'm not frightened to say it. Never have been, never will. Um, if by listening to me, someone goes and talks to somebody and um, helps themselves through a difficult time, then good. For every person that's made that decision to talk and pull themselves from the brink, then that's, you know, then I, I, as a person I've done the ultimate uh, in good. Because as a family member, the last thing you want to know is that one of your family has, has committed I don't know, suicide or something because they didn't get the help they severely needed. So yeah, lovely smell of black currant in here at the moment. Um, I've got the itches, so I'm waiting for it. So I've got a lovely little spatula that we use. It's plastic, don't use wood because wood, uh, you know the wooden spatulas that you get, wood, the wood, um, flavours from the wood go into what you're cooking. I want to put it more, enough to do any problem, but it can do. So now we're starting to get a bit of steam off. Bloody hell, it's a long job. Eh? Um, but I've got to show you all the processes. Otherwise, what's the point of doing a brew and not showing you where we, where we actually are? So yeah, there we are. Brewing away, you need big pans. If you're going to do five litres, you do need a big pan. Um, yeah. So that's good, we're starting. About two minutes in the brewing process. I did say this is going to be a 20 minute video. Um, I've got to clear the kitchen out because the wife wants the kitchen for baking, which forces me to go down the shed and do, I've got beer hauls to do, I've got pot washing to do, and uh, I've got to sow some seeds for work. Cabbage, carrots, not carrots, cabbage, spinach, lettuce. So I've got four packets of seeds. And the weather's changed now, so it's perfect now. Um, the growing season will come at an absolute massive uh, speed. Uh, so will the weeds. <laughs> so, all good fun. Yes, indeed. It's a good thing that I've actually done a lot of weed killing across both my sites at work because um, but my garden now at home is full of weed. Um, but with me, I wait till they get to a certain height, so I, I know if they're weeds or if they're actual uh, a, a weed of interest, a seedling of interest. Um, but being a gardener, I can pick out the stuff quite easily. Obviously, a lot of people will not be able to. So I've no idea what this is going to turn out. Obviously, Britvic and cordials have a lot of sugar in them, because you think you've got to make, you use a bit of that to make a pint glass, you know, like this. So surely there's going to be a hell of a lot of sugar element in there. Will it all ferment out? I have no idea. This is a pure um, experiment. Obviously, we've got to boil the cordial, which is the critical element. I think the one on the back is going to boil first, which is good because then I can start to dissolve the sugar. So yeah, you don't really need to add. If you're doing five litres of cordial, don't add any hot water from the kettle. Pour your sugar into the fermentation bucket, leave it in there until you're ready for adding. Use a wide lid fermentation bucket. So when you pour the pan into there, you're not trying to get it through a smaller. I did it once into my other one. I've got another fermentation bucket with a small lid like that. And an absolute bugger to get it in. So yeah, still waiting, still waiting. 
Yeah, so I've fought lots of beer holes today. I've got a review from last night to post. A very busy weekend. Um, obviously, everybody's watching the football now, all going out boozing, really. You can't fault people. Um, I've noticed across the whole spectrum of beer reviews that everybody's uh, views are going downhill in, in a fashion at least. Catches up in the end, though. I think it does. I don't know. I noticed that my, my channel has nosedived in recent weeks, partly because I stopped doing the lives, um, and partly because of summer. You know, summer, football, and everything else. All these factors. But I like to hit, hit this channel from multiple angles because I have, I'm a fan of homebrew, I'm a fan of wine, beer, spirits, lager, and that. And, um, you know, probably after today I'll, I'll um, calm it down for a few days and uh, just let people, those that really want to catch up on videos, let them catch up. Uh, I do think all the beer hall videos today are worth watching because um, there are some amazing beers I picked up yesterday. Absolutely amazing. So, just starting to bubble on the back burner. Um, yeah, that's now bubbling. One on the front, still getting there. So like I say, I can't do anything until the boil. So at least you can see how long a process this is. As you can see, you can see the steam coming off. So they're starting to boil. Um, is there a golden thing for how long you boil for? I would say a couple of minutes at least. You know, get it nice and hot, get it boiling. Um, oh yeah, that's bubbling away quite nicely now. So I get rid of one. And then I can wait for the other while I'm while I'm doing the sugar. As as for um, ABV, God knows what the ABV can turn out because obviously there's, there's you've got the factor that uh, you've got the starting gravity, and then you've got the end gravity. And uh, what's the end gravity going to be? There's no way of knowing. I presume this is going to be like the, the Vimto wine, where it takes an age to brew. Uh, although I'm not using bloody bread yeast, never use bread yeast, absolute waste of time. Um, but you live and learn, don't you? I would say either I how I how cold yeast or turbo yeast, but use of spirits. I mean, you don't need the carbon and the finings, but um, you don't need that. But yeah, I think turbo yeast is the very best yeast to use. Right now, that's been bubbling away for, I'm going to give it another minute, so it's going to be a bit longer video than I thought. But yeah, that's bubbling away beautifully. Once it starts getting really, really strong bubbling. Steam in the kitchen up. I would put the fan on, but the fan makes such a noise. I can smell the black currant in here though. Oh, so I think I'm happy with that now. Um, I'll give it to, yeah, give it another 30 seconds or so. Is that thing, how long do you boil it for? A few minutes? I mean, you don't want to go to something like 20 minutes, that's overkill. But yeah, a few minutes at least. And there's so many cordials out there. It's an interesting, um, you know, depending on how much we want to put into it, um, cost-wise. I mean, I think you can get five litres of cordial for probably about a fiver. Four bags of sugar for about £2.40. Yeah, £65, £2.60. So £7.60. Probably about two or three quid for the yeast because it's high, high yeast. So I think you're looking at a tenner for this, 20 litres for a tenner. 
not as cheap as juice wine, and not as easy to do as juice wine, but different nonetheless. Right, I'm happy with that now, so I'm going to pour it in. Turn it off. There we go. Steaming. Quickly wash the pan out. Eh? Saves a job later. Right, now I'm still waiting for that to boil because there's an extra litre in there. But now, stir this. Um, like always, you keep stirring. Like you would a cup of coffee. Until it's until you get no resistance. It won't be until we put the other three liters in will it will it all go because the sugar brings the um, the temperature of that juice cordial down a few notches. Made a lot of thick, gloopy, um, it's like a syrup. it's looking like so far it is as thick as you like um it's going to be a very interesting and very high sugar um, i can only imagine what the what the um starting gravity is going to be let's hope it let's hope the scales for it um i mean it goes up to eleven twenty on this so if it but if it drops below that then i'm in trouble because and that's why they probably have wine hydrometers and um yeah because i'm sure somebody was did a brew and it started off at 11 40. Mm. so i'll have to see it is what it is you know it um depends see i'll see how high it comes out It'd be weird to see if it comes out really really high mm. Still bubbling away. It's a lot of DMD. I think on the orange juice wine, I think I'll actually start bubbling it 10 minutes before I put the video on. Just to keep the processors down. And my internet data down. Because um, that's the element that takes, just takes so chuffing long. I could pause, I suppose, and come back. But... Uh, But we're here now, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, so for the orange juice cordial, I will actually um, take it down to quite a short video. If I know I could turn the video off and pause it for a few minutes, I would. But it is bubbling away quite nicely now. So. It's definitely going to be a juicy black currant wine. Um, the Vimto wine, now talking about the Vimto wine, since it's gone into the bottles, um, there is obviously a, some sugar in there. Um, it's, it's inevitable. And it's now made a sparkling Vimto wine. And, and whilst it's in the bottles as well, it's still fermenting. And secondary fermented in the bottles. And um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's it's quite the strength to it now. Um, 
like I say, I think you're better off using um, high alcohol yeast for sure. The best you can afford. If you know, if you can only afford Wilco's one pound wine yeast, then you use whatever you use. Um, you know, I understand um, budgets and. So, starting to bubble now, thank God, in the old bloody day. Um, I'm going to give it another minute or so. It's going to be an half an hour video at this rate. But, um, sometimes you have to see how long it takes and, uh, you know, do the time accordingly, especially if you've got a busy kitchen and uh, you need time. Uh, if someone's cooking or using the kitchen and you say to them, look, it's going to take about half an hour, you know, here's what it is. I think when I did the orange juice wine, I've already jumped straight to the um, boiled. When it, I'll wait till it's boiling before I even start the video. And then it's, a, it's, a, it's less than five minutes and you can do the rest of it yourself. Um, but yeah, bubbling away nicely now. Give it another another minute or so. I, I don't want to. You can't. You've got to be careful not to pull the trigger too quickly. But it's it's nice to see it bubbling away. Um, I do fancy doing a juice a juice wine soon. I'm doing two cordials because I got the cordial for free, so slightly out of date. Um, can you use that to take cordials? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see a problem with it. Best before dates, you know. They're only best before. They're only a guide. I, I had a sip of both. Both were fine. And that tells me is all I need to know. Um, obviously, there's some stuff you wouldn't want to drink out of date, you know. But yeah, bubbling away nicely. Good. I'll get my trousers on and get my t-shirt on and uh, do shopping. Lovely. Father's Day shopping. Oh, you can't fault it. Like I say, multiple beer hauls today. Lots and lots of videos coming on the channel. It's going to be a busy day. Give somebody some up to watch. The beer hauls are quite small anyway. Short videos. I don't really go too much and too far into the beers. Um, but I have got some belters and uh, my beer wall uh, is going to look stunning for a bit. I'm going to totally move all the stuff around and uh, use up my other, other areas and bring some of the stuff off the shelf to use in other areas. Because some of this, some of the stuff that I've bought isn't for straightaway reviews, not at the prices that I've paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to save the odd beer for a while. Obviously, some of the new beers I might review them first, so that I'm one of the first in the UK to review. One of the first. But it's an expensive old hobby beer reviewing. Um, I'm learning that, and uh, there will come a time when I jump straight back into supermarket beers only for a while, just to just to uh, put a bit on the shelves, as it were. But I am doing a thing at the moment where I'm going round all the um, locals. And uh, if they recognise me. So, I've been to three so far. I've been to Bang the Elephant. He recognised me straight away because I'm bloke. I went to Liquid Light. They did not recognise me. Or if they did, they didn't let, let on. And then last yesterday I went to Black Iris. And again, they didn't recognise me either. So, it was a local beer reviewer. Quite a surprise, really. But it depends if they watch beer reviews, doesn't it? They may take no notice, you know. Although, I, also, I've been to Lincoln Green before, and the boss of Lincoln Green, he knew me straight away. So, I did feel like a prat, though. I really did. <clears throat> so, it's been bumming away for a couple of minutes now. I'm still going to leave it another minute. Um, hopefully, it's boiled. There's no way of knowing. There's no guarantees. Should you boil it for 10 minutes, get it bubbling, really bubbling away? Maybe. 
there's no guarantees. That's why most of these were I do are experiments. Yeah, bubbling the mer merrily now. I'll show you the bubbling. There we go. So yeah, it's got some bubble on. It's a bubble in the heart. Um, I'm happy with that. So that can be turned off. Turned off, off. And now to pour in. That's why I say don't use a pan with a small head. Just quickly rinse this before it stains the pan. Now we're into stirring mode again. And uh, that should quite quickly get rid of the rest of the sugar. Yeah. So, you want it so it's smooth when you're stirring. And with the sugar, it's already boiled it up to 20, 10 litres nearly. So, um, it might be interesting for the yeast. Cold water time. Up to, I'm going to go to 22 litres. It doesn't really matter. 20 litres, 22. dark red wine to be fair. I'm just pure luck to be honest. Um, so we're up to 22 litres, as you can see, and uh, I'm going to give it a stir. Feels nice and lukewarm, so the ABV's um, all good. Right, I'm going to chuck the hydrometer just to see what. Uh... Wow. Right, slow it down. That's it. It's high. So, as soon as it decides to stop, oh, for God's sake, it's just wobbling around in the blooming water. Right, 
we have. So 1.100, 1.100 is 1 the is the AB is the hydrometer reading. It is nice to get a true reading. I will write this down. I know what it is, it's the bathroom, it's the thing in the bathroom, the bloody, um, so, one, one, hundred. So, we now are ready. I'm going to add the yeast. Longer video, much longer. When I do the orange cordial, or any future cordials, I will um, do half of it off camera. Obviously. I'm no expert, you know. There's a lot of own brewers out there thinking, oh my God. Um, he's not doing that right. And you know, you're probably right. So there we go. The yeast is now in, smells like bread. And that's it. We're going to give updates over the next few days, see how it bubbles, see if it bubbles, <laughs> ferments. And, uh, lids on, transfer into the bearing. Thank you everyone for this very long blooming video. Cheers.